Every year, surgeons in the United States perform surgeries within the sinus for about 400,000 patients, about 20 times the capacity of the saddle dome. An example of one of these procedures is called a pituitary adenoma resection, or the removal of a tumor from the pituitary gland, a part of the brain behind the eyes. In these operations, surgeons will use small cameras called endoscopes to navigate through the nose until they reach the sphenoid bone, a bone that separates the sinus from the brain. Once there, surgeons will drill through this bone to gain access to the brain and the tumor. But behind this bone, on about the size of a golf ball, is the tumor, the optic nerve, and a major artery, all very critical structures that could cause serious harm if touched by the drill. I'd like to walk you through an analogy of how it feels to drill through this bone. For a second, imagine you're holding two objects. In your non-dominant hand, imagine you're holding a square board of wood, slightly bigger than your hand. In your other hand, imagine you're holding a drill. Now take the drill and try to drill a hole through the board between two of your fingers. Does that make you uncomfortable? You know the size, shape, and position of your hand on the underside of the board, but if I was to rate your confidence on a scale of one to 10, I bet that number would be pretty low. Now imagine I give you something like a stud finder, something you can move over the board and it will beep if it detects your hand underneath, allowing you to find a safe place to drill. I tell you to remember that spot and I take the stud finder away and give you back the drill. Are you confident now? Did you put the drill in exactly the right spot? Are you off by maybe even a millimeter? I bet you're more confident than before, but still not absolutely certain that your fingers are safe. Surprisingly, this example is like the technology used in these surgeries. Surgeons use image guidance systems and place them on the sphenoid bone, which allows them to see, using medical images, what is likely to be behind that spot on the bone. The problem is surgeons only have two hands, and one hand is always stuck holding the camera in the sinus, much like your hand was stuck holding the board. So the surgeons have to remove the image guidance system, replace it with the drill, and try to drill in the exact same spot. But what if I had handed you a clear board of plastic rather than a board of wood, allowing you to see your hand quite clearly on the other side of the board? You'd feel much more confident, maybe even certain, that you could find a safe spot to drill without harming your fingers. This is the idea I'm trying to bring to the operating room. I'm developing a device that changes the video from the camera to show surgeons exactly what's on the other side of the bone while they're drilling, so that when they drill, they know they're not going to drill into critical structures that could cause blindness or even death. My research is going to make these procedures safer, shorter, and will improve patient care in almost half a million procedures a year. Thank you.